Alright, man. Alright, man. I'm about to share a story with y'all because I'm a Florida boy and shit. You know, shout out to all my zoos out there, man. I'm a Florida boy, but I gotta share this story that's kind of spooky and wild, bruh. Look, y'all go get y'all kin folks and family and pray for them, bruh, and teach them that these cops out here are wild, my nigga. But I'm not trying to get on the cops like that. Cause let me let me get on with the show. There's a rapper called Money Mitch, right? And I'm, let me show y'all his video before I play anything. Let me let me make sure y'all understand who this dude is and what he got going on now. The rapper I'm about to show you, let's make sure his videos and, and things like that ain't copyrighted so we don't get, you know what I mean? No trouble. Now, this is him right here. Hang on, I'm going to fast forward it. Right. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all about this rapper right here, man. Rest in peace to this man right here. Unfortunately, this rapper was shot and killed. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, he was shot and killed. Let's read it the right way, because before I get on my rant, you know, my OGs told me, bro, you need to break the news down to them before you, you know, you give the real nigga gospel for, in the room right quick. Now, this rapper, who he was nicknamed by his brothers, you know, Money Mitch, you know what I mean? He rolled with it because, he, I guess if your brothers give you a nickname, it's going to stick. Now, they say he reportedly killed himself after a shootout with the police. This is educational purpose news. Now, police executed a traffic stop and the musicians reportedly got out of the Uber that he was riding in and started firing at Palm Beach police. Already sounds suspect, right? We, we're gonna break that down, bro. This whole shit sound wild. So he gets out of the Uber, starts shooting at the cops, and he wasn't hit by the gun fire, and he fled to a building around the block where the cops found blood, which is weird as hell. So he's in a shootout with the cops. He don't get hit once. We know how these cops, it could be a snail on the road. These niggas is hitting that snail like 30 shots, at least 30 rounds, bro. So I'm, let me keep going. Now, Frank DeMario of the Palm Beach Sheriff Office said they thought the rapper had been wounded in the shootout, but found out that he fatally shot, shot himself. This whole thing is wild. We follow him to the building and see he got rid of himself. Bro, this whole thing. And, and I'm not saying that's not possible to happen. You dig what I'm saying? But let me let folks in them speak. They give you more information. So, you know, this, hey, don't put that woo on me, bro. I don't wish that happened to no man. It's a tragic situation, bro. Shout out to his family. We're going to break this down the right way. Hold on. Uh, we have forensic, forensic evidence, uh, which I can't divulge it. But I can show you a picture. That's the officer explaining how he killed himself, the um, the rapper. We can show them after we finish talking. Do you have it? Yeah, have it. Okay, I'll show it to you, yeah. After you finish. Let's look at the truck. It's, it's a picture of the suspect on the ground with a gun in between his legs. Wait! Wait! Wait, yeah, let me... Y'all heard what that nigga said? That, that, that Sherry, bro, this is, let me, I'm, I've seen enough, bro. I don't need to read the rest. I'm about to do justice for that family. At first, before I break it down, did you hear the cop? The cop, he's trying to show that it was a self-inflicted gunshot wound on the rapper that killed him, right? I'm about to break it down to, and he nervous as fuck, boy. Boy, they do not care about us, bro. All I really want to say is they don't really care about us. Rest in peace to Michael Jackson, man. His death date is coming soon, man. Let's knock on wood, man. Now... The officer is trying to make, you know what I mean, to show that older, oh, the, the nigga was in a shootout. I guess the nigga had the woo on him. He had President Moe's. Rest in peace to President Moe's, the Haitian president. I guess this nigga had some woo spirit on him. So, y'all, he comes out the Uber, first of all, and just blacks out and starts shooting at the officers, which is weird already. Like, I don't, I know, according to contrary beliefs, we really are afraid of the officers more than they're afraid of us. Let's just get that stereotype out the way. I'm afraid of... Certain people who have weapons on them and are scared of me and ready to shoot me. Big facts. Now, they said this guy hopped out the Uber, started popping out at West Palm Beach officers and shit. Then after that, after he do this, he don't get hit, not one scratch on him. He goes behind a building and, you know, he kills himself. But they messed up. Here's how the officers messed up. You said you seen blood on the ground. So did he kill himself? 
He didn't get hit at all, but there's blood on the ground by the car that leads to the back of the room. So how did he have time to kill himself and still go to the back of the room? None of it makes sense, right? Now this officer's like, we got proof he killed himself. We got a picture of him with the weapon between. Like, come on, bruh. This sound like a wipeout situation, bro. First of all, if he really was busting at the cops, you know what come with this game. I hate to be honest with y'all, bro. If you busting at the law, you know these folks don't like us, bro. Like, let, let, let get this shit out the way, little woo. You know these niggas don't like us at all, my nigga. Any excuse they got to enact pain and that type of, you know, situation retaliation on us, they go for it, King. They go for it. But the way y'all say he popped at West Palm Beach officers, I don't believe that at all, gang. Like, it sound like y'all eliminated this man. Y'all got mad. He put y'all through a chase. And if allegedly he did shoot at y'all, you niggas got mad. And one of y'all probably was felt like y'all life was in danger. And we know y'all not endangered by him, but at the time he was busting at y'all. So now y'all find him in the corner. Y'all hit that nigga and finish the job. Let's just be real. You finish the job. I'm not saying he's innocent or guilty in the gun shooting or the, the, the shootout or whatever, but we do. We, we all know what happened in the back of the building, gang. Like, let's get out the way, man. No cameras. It's dark. It's the situation in the back. Come on, bro. We know already, bro. This some whole shit, bro. This man looked like he had a future. You know what I mean? He could rap, though. Like, shout out to Florida, man. We we got undefeated in this rap game, bro. I'm, I'm going to show out a little bit. Florida niggas be rapping and going in. And it's another talent going to the waist, bro. Going to the waist, bro. Like, unneeded, bro. Money Mint seemed like he had a lot of potential in his situation. But I personally want to know, behind the scenes, what you got going on with ganging them? Because I call the cops gang, bro. Them niggas eliminated you like they was on a revenge, bro. Hold on. Y'all do me a favor, before we keep going, hit that like button for me right quick. Share this video to that man's family. Share it to his people. And make sure this video go out to everybody. I'm about to drink right quick, because this is spooky, gang. I ain't going to even cap. Hold on. Rest in peace to Money Mitch. Now, you want us to think he killed him. Now, this happened like two days ago. I'm giving the news about it because I can't just let it. Not only because he a Florida dude, it don't matter where he from. The whole story is like, damn, my nigga, do we count? I know you niggas can't wait to get your chance to be like another crooked rapper, another, another gangster rapper. Who cares, right? But you should care, bro. When the cops can eliminate anybody they want to or all type of lies, you should be worried about that, gang. This could be your son. This could be you that they think you're doing X, Y, and Z. But I do want to know why allegedly did they kill him the way they did. You know what I mean? Why did they lie? You can clearly see the officer was lying. He was fumbling. He was catching himself in a lie and trying to fix it with another lie. Which, look, y'all, if y'all trying to catch yourself in a lie with another lie, it only fucking make it worse, gang. It makes it worse. It don't get, be <laughs> it don't get better at all, bro. But let's fast forward back to this. So my guy is out here. Doing the BS factor now, right? The BS factor. You flipping and you scrilling out here. And we sitting back like, what you got going on, gang? This ain't cool, bruh. This ain't cool at all, bruh. I don't think y'all understand. Like, my man is here like, we know he killed himself because we got the phone. And the phone presents and shows him with, with the gun between his leg. Like, come on, bruh. And the, the fact is between his leg, you could have easily sabotaged the, the evidence and... and Take this hand and put the weapon and put it right like, come on, gang. And then you niggas, I never really hear something that happens bad to you people who shut off your body cams. Shout out to this weak president, Barack Obama. Y'all don't get mad at me. Y'all voted for him. I know y'all gonna get mad at me, but he introduced these body cams. But every time we hear about the body cams, we always hearing about them. They either was turned off deliberately or, or turned on before the actual shit they questioned. You can't make this up. And every time we reprimanded the, we, we suspended the officer, you're like, oh, for, for a year, two years, three years, we, they should really be in prison. But then you find out the punishment was like two hours of this or 15 hours of this. Nigga, I'll shut off my body cam too if that's all that happens to me is paperwork or I just get a vacation home for dead in your your, your, your tail, bro. Educational purpose. You can't make none of this up, bro. Look, man, let me let me play the rapper again for y'all. I hope this man get justice, but this is spooky, gang. I ain't gonna cap, bro. The whole thing, bro. The whole thing is spooky. You pay to show my face, they think I'm selling me. You heard me say what they want. They know I've been with it. Money, they know Miss Big in it. I can taste the 
take some balls or grab a block and do a trick with it. Getting off all these pounds, but ain't never been in the gym. Rest in peace, man. Man, rest in peace to that man for real, man. Yeah, these these, these cops, man. And, and, and I don't want to hear no more about the good cops, cause I know good cops too. But at the end of the day, if cops are so called good, bruh, you know, do something about it. I know the blue walls are still, but that, I don't believe in no blue walls of this and that, nigga. It's just gang shit. Let's get out the way with that. It's just gang situations, cause that's the same thing gang members can say. We keep lower to each other. We lie for each other. What you call that? If they had been a shade of bit darker and not wearing blue uniforms, quote unquote police uniform, you would have said that's some evil, crooked criminals. Shades of this and that, but y'all be giving passes to everybody, can folks. I'ma sit back. And resort to looking at the BS that go on and just try to get myself away from them type of situations, bro. Like, you can't make this up, man. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gang. On another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Look, man, this, this breaks my heart to see that that young man had to die that type of way. Because maybe he was guilty, but we don't know. Because the police is flip-flopping. It makes me think this is a cover-up. This is a setup. It don't even make sense that. So he just hopped out the Uber and started freestyling on y'all with the rounds. He just let y'all have it for what? What was he facing? He had to just pop at y'all. Like niggas don't do no shit like that, bro. If they try to pop at the cops, it's because they know they already was in a situation with them. But I, I don't know, bro. This is a wild story. It's a wild situation. I pray for that man's family. Um, I took a sip already, man. I hope y'all do y'all right. But at the end of all the videos, I say love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. It's a tragedy.